Hey folks, it's me again, Bit 896 and I'm back with another video for you guys. Um, just quickly before this video begins, I have a few announcements to make, um, and I have a, uh, I have a package I want to show off before this video starts. Uh, this will be a review video, I just want to show some things off first. Um, first off is a package that I got from one of my subscribers, uh, Mirko. I hope I'm pronouncing it right, it's M-I-R-K-O, and I'll just read the note that he enclosed with the package. Hello Ben, uh, enclosed I send you a little gift, um, I hope you like it. I'm a big fan of Japanese manga and anime, Akira is one of the best. Thanks for making the reviews on YouTube. Keep up the good work. All the best, Mirko. So that's the note that he sent me. And the package that he sent me was the first volume of Katashira Otomo's Akira. Uh, this is the more recent edition that's published by Dark Horse Comics, which collects um, X amount of issues of the Akira series, uh, which is a Japanese uh, manga. Uh, interesting bit of um, video trivia, I was using the first volume of Akira as a prop to um, keep my mobile phone um, upright while I was recording the first ever videos I uploaded to YouTube. Um, as of right now, uh, it is now 7 minutes past 12 on the 2nd of June, which means it is my first year anniversary of being on YouTube. And also the big announcement is that I've recently surpassed the 300 subscriber mark. So I just want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to everybody who's watched my videos, commented on my videos, thumbs up my videos, constantly have left me great feedback. Um, as a thank you to you guys, I want to do a 300 subscriber shoutouts video, which I'll get around to shortly. Um, and I'm also going to do um, another way of celebrating. I'm going to show off my graphic novel slash trade paperback slash comic book collection. Um, in its entirety, as it stands at the moment, and I'll also show off my single issues, which has been sent, which have been sent to me, <clears throat> excuse me, by Damien Sleepy Reader Six 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 and Gary One Z Angelique. So anyway, with those announcements and that package showcasing out of the way, let's get on to the review video. Today I'll be reviewing Northlanders Volume One, uh, Volume Two, even uh, the Cross and the Hammer. The series is written by Brian Wood, and on the second volume we have Ryan Kelly on the artwork. The second volume collects issues 11 through 16 of the series. Now if you're wondering where 9 and 10 are, they are collected in volume 3, which is called Blood in the Snow, I believe, uh, because 9 and 10 is a two-issue story arc. The series is published by DC Comics under their Vertigo imprint, and if you guys haven't seen my review of Sven, the Return, which is Volume 1 of the Northlanders, which collects the first eight issues. I'll leave an annotation in this video to that review video somewhere in this video, so you guys can check that out. Uh, so this story starts out, and we meet one of our two main characters within this particular story, and that is uh, Ragnar Rang Ranga Ragnarsson who is a forensic specialist who has been sent by the king um, of the Norse at the time within this Northlanders world, if you will. Uh, king Sigtrag... Sig Sigtrag? I really don't know how to pronounce it. Um, S-I-G-T-R-Y-G-G. -G -G. How do you just pronounce that? Um, and he's trying to... Uh, essentially, he sent this guy to track down a... Um, an individual who's been killing all of the king's uh, soldiers and messengers and whatnot, um, called known only as Man as Magnus, who we see here with his young daughter Brid uh, Bridget. Hope I'm pronouncing that right. B i b i r g i d. However you choose to pronounce that, I think it's Bridget anyway. Um, so there's a good shot of the two of them together, and we see that. Um, uh, Ragnar is sending regular reports to the king um, about his progress and how he's trying to essentially evaluate and track down and capture this guy uh, known as Magnus that he's been sent to um, to do just that. Just to show you an example of some of the really great um, action scenes within this first uh, within the second volume. 
Um, here's a pack of hounds that have been sent after Magnus and Ingrid. And um, Magnus is, is dispatching these dogs with relative ease. And we find out that Ragnar is under the impression that this guy, uh, Magnus, is he must have a military background because of the sheer amount of precision and the sheer brutality of um, of the way that he's killing all of the king's uh, messengers and soldiers and mercenaries and whatnot. And I'll just show you another example of just how proficient this guy is, um, even with a bow and arrow as well, as you can see, as he's taking up this guy on horseback. And these guys that are riding towards him on horse on horseback in the bottom panels of this page. I have to say, while the artwork by Ryan Kelly is a bit more cartoonish in style and a bit more uh, conventional in terms of comic book artwork, if you stop and look at it, um, as with the first volume with David Glanfellis, uh, again I'm terrible at pronouncing names, um, both of their artworks um, are comic book-ish, kind of cartoonish styles, but there's a hell of a lot of detail um, within their artwork that they put into it. Um, I should point out that the colorist, um, Dave McKeague, um, MC, uh, M small hyphen C, uh, C A I G um, is the regular colorist on these first two volumes, and I have to say this guy does a great job of bringing the uh, bringing the artwork to life. Uh, there's a short fisticuff scene between Magnus and Rhaegar, or Ragnar. Yeah, yeah Ragnar. Sorry. Um, as I said, I'm terrible at pronouncing names. And over the course of this second volume, we also see how smart uh, Ragnar is in the respect of how he. Um, how he figures out the identity of who uh, Magnus is. I'll just show you another example of the really great double page spreads of Ryan Kelly's artwork of some of the um, some of the action scenes between the uh, between the Norsemen and I'm guessing uh, the Irish Christians, I guess, because this particular volume is set against the backdrop of. Uh, 11 let's have a look 11 let me see uh sorry 1014 AD which is set during a time period where uh the Vikings or the Norsemen were invading and conquering Ireland now i don't know if the dates and the i don't know if the dates are historically ha accurate but i know that the um that the Vikings did indeed uh, invade Ireland around this time period. So, um, once again, I have to give big props to Brian Wood um, for um, doing some really great research in terms of the Vikings. Um, although the characters are fictional, some of the events uh, that transpire within the North London series, um, by all accounts, do seem to have actually happened. Um, so... Um, there's a really great kind of historic um, context to this book as well. Um, there's a really great um, dialogue exchange between uh, between Magna, uh, Magnus and um, and Ragnar, and you really see whoops, and you really see the um, the shock on Magnus's face when we learn. A really surprising, um, really great story reveal, um, which came as a complete surprise, and I didn't see it coming um, up until I read the end of this, um, the end of issue uh, 15, and, and then the start of 16. Uh, let me just check again. Yeah, 11 through 16. Yeah. Once again, here's another really cool double page spread of some of Ryan Kelly's artwork. As I said, it is cartoonish, but there's a hell of a lot of detail that Kelly puts into his artwork. Uh, you might know Ryan Kelly as he worked with Brian Wood before on the New York Four. Uh, Brian Wood, you may know from DMZ, uh, this series, obviously, Northlanders, um, The Massive from Dark Horse, uh, Conan from Dark Horse, um, uh, Ultimate Comics X-Men, uh, there's a regular X-Men title that he's also writing. Um, Star Wars again from Dark Horse, 
So this guy has done a hell of a lot of work um, in terms of um, what he's been writing recently. Um, like I said, there's a really great reveal um, towards the end of the story that really um, leads you to believe that maybe Magnus is crazy, maybe he's delusional. But then once you read the final issues of this second volume, everything falls into place and it just makes for a really great, um, really interesting end of the story. Brian Wood is still doing a fantastic stellar job on the writing of this series. If you're looking to get into Brian Wood, I would highly, highly recommend Northlanders because Northlanders is an anthology series, which basically means every volume has a set beginning, a set middle, and a set ending in terms of a story arc, all contained within one single volume. So if you're looking to get into Northlanders or Brian Wood's writing, I would definitely say that Northlanders Volume 1 Sven the Return is a great place to start for Brian Wood's writing and for the introduction to the Northlanders series as well. Um, also, Ryan Kelly does a fantastic job on the artwork, and Dave McKeague also does a great job of bringing um, the artwork to life, just like he did with David Glenn, Glenn, Fe uh, Glenn Felice's artwork within this first volume, uh, which was Sven the Return, as I just showed you guys. If you're a fan of Brian Wood, if you're a fan of Vikings, if you're a fan of history, if you're a fan of Vertigo, or if you're a fan of anthology series within uh, comic books or self-contained stories, I highly, highly recommend North, uh, Northlanders. If I had to give the second volume a rating, I'd give it an absolute 5 out of 5. I really, really enjoyed it, and I highly recommend it. And that about concludes this review video guys. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. But as always, if you didn't like the video, feel free to tell me why in the comment section below or send me a private message. If you're new to my channel and this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more, please feel free to subscribe. And until next time, this is Scambit896 signing off and I'll see you guys next time. Take care guys.